Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, stupid. Your favorite series is back. And I've got a goodie for you today. We're back with your guys' favorite series, Spectating Bronzes. And to be honest with you, this was less of a roasting bronzes and more of a roasting J3. Don't really know how we got there. I was impressed by this player's ability to attempt higher level maneuvers like trying to throw flashbang over a Reinhardt shield. And so I was curious that they must be watching players that are much better than them, streamers, pro players, etc., to try these maneuvers, but didn't quite know how they work. So I asked him, who do you watch? And they said J3. And it spiraled out of control quickly, but I love J, so. It's all, all good. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, comment, share with a friend. You guys have always loved this series. Took a little bit of a break for a few days from it, so I hope that you guys are excited that it's back. I hope you guys still enjoy it as much as you have been, because I enjoyed doing them as well. And I'm excited to show you the next couple because we kind of put a little bit of a twist on the next couple of these. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, comment, share with a friend. We haven't done the spectating bronze series for a little bit, so hopefully you guys are as excited as I am to bring it back. And so I'm also excited to show you the next couple because we kind of changed up the formula a little bit on the next couple. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you hadn't hit the sub button, hit the sub button. Helps me a ton. Beat stupid some carrots. Right. Anyways, that's it for me. I will catch you again tomorrow. Okay. This one is kind of interesting. I'm the very lost McCree, then Junkrat. I started playing Overwatch and FPS in general in late December slash early January this year, so I have no mechanical skill, really. Screenshot is... Well, okay, what's, when is it now? It's August. Okay. Screenshot is season 27, last one I played, and replays from this season's placements. Hope this isn't the worst gameplay you've ever seen. Well, the fact that you have another role oh, that's silver, and you just started playing this game, or playing FPS in general, and when people have said they've been playing it for years, is... Impressive at the least. All right, Sam. So you hope to not be the worst I've ever seen. First off, skin check. Uh, not my favorite, not the worst though. Seven out of 10. I'm curious though. So there's something you said that's got my attention is that you've just started playing FPS games in January slash December. Depending on how much time is on your hands, um, you actually can make a lot of progress in that amount of time. I will, this, okay, this is my own personal take since playing Apex. I think Overwatch is one of the hardest games to learn to be a good shot in because there's no punishment and there's easy ways out. You can, uh, farm tanks. Um, you can blame teammates. You can, uh, say that you didn't have good angles. You didn't have space. Um, that other tanks were focusing you. There's so many excuses in this game. It's it's tough to really tell people that your your mechanical skill is not good, and it's also tough if a tough for people to say your mechanical skill is good, because if you're someone who actually has decent mechanical skill, but you're constantly just getting rolled, that might not be because of your mechanical skill. It's actually much more about your positioning in that. Um, and on the same on the other hand, though, you can look like you're a mechanical god but you absolutely have no understanding of the game whatsoever so you're not really getting to show it off and when you do get to show it off it's not as impactful as it should be it's a very mechanically this game is very tough mechanically um but aim wise uh it's 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 tougher than other games because there's other factors that play in so what i've learned from playing apex is yes, there's things that play against me like rotations, teams inting onto you, uh, high ground control, better rotations, etc. But at the end of the day, though, if you're not hitting any of your shots against another player, your aim is just. So I'm curious to see if your mechanical skill is actually that bad, or do you just lack the confidence to actually try to take the duels with the targets you should take? Everybody fucking freeze. What just happened? Oh. 
So he shoots back. Together, we are strong. <laughs> nice aim, Toe. <laughs> so here's the thing. He's definitely lagged out. Like, he lags out very clearly, right? But does he actually lag out because he sh he's AFK, right? Let's like, oh, DC, DC, right? Ready? Ready? DCing, DCing, DCing. And then he shoots. Like, as if he's not DCing. And then just whoop, flips out of existence. Wait, mechanically, actually, you're not that bad. Okay, I take it back. Okay. Actually, I take it back again. Mechanically, actually, you're very good. You're actually very good mechanically. I don't know who you are, but you have balls that literally drag on the f***ing ground. One. Two. Maybe that's actually a bad thing because of how confident you are. Um, but if this, but like, if you could find a happy medium in there, I think you could. That was actually pretty good. That was actually very good. I, I, I mean, I, I just love the no fear at all. Okay, I think I figured it out. Your movement is. That's what it is. Your movement is fucking. You are. Watch this. You are struggling to fucking walk up this block. Sam. 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 I am literally disgusted in what I just watched. I, I actually. Like, I, I feel real physical pain from what I just witnessed. Sam. Sam, listen, your actual mouse aim is actually very good for this level. Your balls of steel drag along the ground, but the fact that you can't walk up this right here is fucking scaring me. Like, Sam, 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 what the f Sam, Sam, what the literal sh did I just watch? Listen to me. Your FPS skills are mostly put in here, okay? You just have to learn how to walk. Okay. Learn how to walk and and what good movement is and just understanding that and like that that will take you pretty far. Cuz this just was painful. And I, if you fall down here, if you slip, you're you're not getting back up here for 20 seconds. Honestly, you're a bit of a you're a bit of a sentry turret right now. Um, I want to see you just grow, have the ball, just go, just can send it again. Uh, here we go. We were just sending it. Go behind the shield on your left, maybe in high noon. I don't know if that's like something you're interested in doing. No. Okay. Wait, wait, Sam. Wait, actually popping. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Actually, wait a minute. You're actually smoking. Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute, wait a minute, Can hold the f on. You're actually rolling. That was incredible, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. The fuck? It could it could have just been a spark, you know. And I and I saw someone say in chat. I saw someone say like, "Oh, but they're bronze and they're trying to flash over Ryan Shield." In my opinion, at this point, and where Overwatch is, I, I I hate to say it after watching so many of these, I I hear that same thing a lot. Is like whenever a low, really low rank player attempts like something that you would think is more of a higher level. If somebody even just like, let's say this person works nine to five in an office, right? If they work nine to five in an office and they watch at least two hours of streams while they're in the office, right? I used to work in an office, you know, I, I, I've worked a corporate job. A lot of times you can just go off and do other while you're working. 
most of the time they don't care as long as you get your work done if they watch two hours of overwatch streams a day especially like high level players they are not stupid they will pick up things that you would think oh a low rank player will never even do that now do they do it right every time not really like but they'll sometimes attempt it you know a good example is that guy we watched uh the first ever his first ever game that guy had never played overwatch before but in watch me played overwatch for weeks right found me from a different game from variety watched me play overwatch said i like this game ended up buying it and we watched his first game and he was kind of a chat right but like people i remember people live in and comments like oh that's not his first game but it was i do not i don't believe that person was lying it's okay for people that are new to the game or people that are maybe not the highest rank to understand or at least attempt something that might be a higher level play it doesn't always work does that mean make sense Good example of that. All right, here it is. Ready? And this isn't stuff I would normally point, point out in bronzes, like whatever, we just move on. But I want you to just see, for especially people that are watching the video or people who are here now and are like, nah, Flats, I don't really buy what you're saying. Okay. Counterpoint. Watch this. Check the cooldown right now. Six seconds. Wait for it. What do you think they're trying to do right here? They're trying to flash above shield. It's on cooldown. That means that they're trying to to do a, a higher level play, but they have no fucking clue that they they don't have even the basic sense that their ability is still on cooldown. So, when people say something like, "Oh, it, it, it must be bait," like they're baiting because you know they're trying, they just tried it again. He didn't have it on cooldown. Ended up having to flash straight into the Ryan shield. Watch, watch it one more time. He tried it a second time, or they tried it a second time. Does still has it on cooldown. Doesn't they do not understand their cooldowns in any way. So tried it again. Nothing. And probably just spam the E really quick because it was coming up, and then just threw it right into the Rhine. Okay. But like what I mean by that is just they're attempting higher level stuff. Probably because they've seen other people do it. Doesn't exactly mean they're good at it. I mean, we've we've already seen just how the way they play McCree. Like they play balls of steel, but they haven't gotten punished for it yet. Like this angle right here is just weird. Do you believe him now? Wait a minute. Oh, Sam, it's you. You watch J3? No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I said you watch high level players. I love it. See, this is, dude, this is how I know. I'm telling you, chat. This is how I knew. This is 100% how I know. Watch. T like, listen. I, I, I love to shit on the bronzes. It's my favorite thing. I love roasting them. They're fun. And, and chat loves it. Two, you guys, if you're watching this right now, you're watching it for a reason. But the the thing is, as fun as it is to say like, oh my God, like, look at this, how dumb this is. They're not like completely idiot people. Like they're just not, that's just not how it works. Like they're just inexperienced or haven't taken the time to learn the game or don't have the mechanical skill or have a PC. And this is a perfect example of they watch somebody who's a lot better than them. They understand that walking out here, going left, going over this little high, this little ledge on the right here, going on this ledge, hopping over to this one and coming down here puts them in the back of the fight. Who does that a lot? High level players who are trying to get back in the fight and have a good position because going through main is just a bad positioning. And then watch, they go for it and they fucking forget to jump. That's why they're bronze. Not because they don't understand, but because they just couldn't figure the out of the space bar. They couldn't figure out how to jump. They couldn't figure out how to climb this goddamn wall. That is different, okay? Listen, that's just how it is. And they know it. You see the screen shake. They know it. They're like, ah, I couldn't jump.
Okay, that was the weirdest high noon. I don't know about that one, buddy. I'm going to be honest with you. That was, you know, that was kind of a, a suspicious high noon. That was a J3 high noon right there. But <coughs> listen, I, it always irks me a little bit when people say like, oh, they're just trolling. They're, listen, people do submit trolls, troll answers or troll VODs, but they're very easy to pick out. And when I have, I've, I've swapped right off of them or found something different out of it. When you play this game for a long time, you typically pick up on people that are like that are better than where they're at. This is just a good example of somebody who's just watching people that are better than them. That's it. Now, mechanically, I actually think mouse wise, like their aim is actually pretty decent. It's just the movement that sucks. The movement, the movement, the movement, the movement. Like standing still right here and then like walking back and forth in a straight line and getting stuck on the on the on the ledges of the bridge. What are you doing? You know? But that's but that right there is a decent play. Fucking flashing the Ryan as he's jumping in, like that's or charging in, that's crazy. That's nice. But then here comes the Papega. Some ointment. These burns are starting to hit the third degree. <laughs> you want to see the Papega though? Well, does anyone see a problem here? Uh, does anyone see a problem here? There's three fucking brawl tanks and a fucking McCree about a three v one. Well, I see something. Okay, they didn't care. They didn't respond. Wait. Oh, here it comes. Wait, did you just try to just punch him? Wait, I can't. Wait a minute. Who's who's worse here? Wait, how did you just miss a flash? Wait a minute. Dude, who is worse there? I, I can't tell who the f is worse. Hello? What the f was that? Okay, we're watching that from above. That was the most bronze fight ever. We're watching that from above. We're getting the full on MMA fucking UFC preview from above. Here we go. Rolls away. The hog goes for him. Miss. 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 Some shots. Miss the flashbang. Miss. Run away. Bro, I don't... Listen. I, I, dude, I don't even know what to tell you anymore. Maybe your movements are so good, but it's so bad that people just... You know... Okay, listen. You have a right click, okay? You have a right click. I, I, I When you're when you're up close on tanks, I, I swear to God, just use it. Like I, I know I know the stereotype. Just... just around and just don't use it like just just use it i'm telling you just just try please <sighs> please <laughs> well, i hope you live oh no wait hello hog shoot no okay what? Wait, bath? Wait. You'll take more than that. Bring? Hello? It's high noon. Oh, wow, that's actually so unfortunate. Okay, the f first shot actually hit the... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait a minute, hold on. It's high noon. Did she take the Rhine shot? Okay, dumb question about high noon here, chat. Draw. Okay, the first shot. Wait a minute. Okay, dumb question about high noon here, chat. Ready? I actually don't know the answer to this. So if you had two targets lined up, and the first target was supposed to take 500 HP damage, and the next one's supposed to take 900 damage of HP, if the first shot hits the first person, right? And the second shot hits the first person. Do they get hit by the 900 damage or the 500 damage? Let's say the first one breaks the shield so they don't get hit by it. Do you get hit by the 900 damage or is it... It's the 900? 
So the first fire, the first first shot breaks the brig shield, and then she takes a full on Rhine shot, which he's almost full HP. So when it was in with a skull, so that means he was gonna take 500 plus damage. Oh my god, that brig just got fucking obliterated. Literally obliterated. To the sh to the shadow realm with you, where brigs belong anyways. So, I always thought each shot did the same amount of damage. Well, it's, it depends on how charged up it is. So, like, if somebody just steps in your line of sight, it won't do near that much damage as opposed to somebody who was sitting there and like taking the whole charge. Also, I don't know why you're coming back on Kree and just like slowly walking your way in. Listen, you weren't, dude, listen. Okay, now you're, Sam, now you're making me mad. Like, you just, you walked in, okay, there you go. There you go. You're literally, listen, this is the biggest clot. Okay, st st stop left clicking. This is literally cluster city. Like, dude, dude, the fact that you're even still alive, how? How, how the f are you even still alive, first off? Okay, let's watch you get res and then watch this from above because this is ridiculous. I want you to see yourself here. What, what are you doing left clicking at this close range? Like, what's the point? Just right click spam. Right click spam. Just right click spam. Like, what is this? This, this is why people don't play our game anymore. Who the f knows what's happening? Dude, imagine being an outsider, like someone who's new to Overwatch, and you're like, yeah, watch this fight. Who the f knows what's happening there? Oh god, you said you're a J3 viewer? Oh, here we go. Okay, let's let's make a prediction here. You're gonna go put down a Junkrat trap and a mine on this exact position. Right here. That's a J3 special right there. Now you should put her on the wall, to be fair. Should have put a little bit more on the wall. This is more of the budget J3, correct? But that's the J3 special right there. <clears throat> Walmart, more like Dollar Tree. You know what? I think that's the title of this video now. I spectator bronze DPS who is the Dollar Tree J3. Sounds good to me. By the way, their Genji died to it. No surprise. Yep, that's that. You're a J3 viewer, all right. You're a J3 viewer. Well, through and through. This gameplay is so relatable, it hurts. Well, not relatable to me, but... Okay, here we go. Here comes the tire. You ready? Through the window on the right. Yep, here it goes. Oh, you gave up on the be able to climb it. You tried it, but gave up on, on being able to make it up there. Panicked. Double shield? It's the bronze classic. It's the bronze classic, Arissa Ryan. I talk about it every video, pretty much. Bronze classic, Arissa Ryan, every single time. Jesus Christ, you gotta be careful there, Sam. You're gonna get somebody killed. Brig? Like, honestly, your mechanical skill is actually pretty good. Like, in terms of aim. It's just your positioning and your uh, your movement are f***ing terrible. Like, you actually understand cooldowns really well. You understand that you're supposed to be using them actively. You understand, like, how to push limits a little bit. But if you if you learned how to walk and you learned how to not stand in the middle of a f***ing team fight, you'd probably be pretty good. You'd actually probably be pretty f***ing good. So, from what I can tell, you absolutely watch streamers, right? Obviously, we figured that out by now. No. But here's the thing. 
you don't understand you don't you only watch how they set up the fight you don't watch how the fight devolves and where they should go next you know how to start the beginning. You know how the routes they're supposed to take. The the how to come back from spawn. That explains how you know how to go left side because you watch J three and go over across. Because he makes a lot of trips back from spawn. So your your rollouts from spawn and how to get back to the point and have good positioning in the beginning is pretty good. And that explains that. Um, but after that though, that's when you start to fit. You not have an idea of what you should be doing because well, this is probably not totally your fault. You're watching Jay. He's probably already dead. But in the mid fight, you're supposed to still keep re repositioning and still being active and staying safe and staying alive. So I, I would highly recommend that um, you would try to find a day where he's playing well, where so then he lives longer than three and a half seconds. That way you can start to figure out uh, how you're supposed to fight these mid fights. Uh, because in the mid fight, when you get lost, you ju you get you just start hugging the tanks on the enemy team and then just hoping. For Rare days. Sabina would know. Sabina's a mod for Jay. See, I speak the truth and only the truths. Working at the car wash, yeah. Definitely a J3 viewer. He never, he never shoots my fucking sim turrets when I'm walking through the choke. Just lets me die to him. Good flash, though. Dude, fam, I'm, I brought, dude, I'm promise you. Just, okay, all right. Now you're, you're, now you're just lost. Now you're just. I figured it out. In the mid fight, you're getting lost. You're actually getting very lost in the mid fights. Like right now, like you just don't, you just don't know what's happening. But like you have the flash right there. You go for the flash and fan. Just like just, just int on the sim. You already killed their tanks. Like they're not really that scary anymore. Just walk through. Just walk through. Don't be afraid. Your mercy, your mercy. Hey, listen. What happened to your balls of steel? The mercy's honestly got bigger balls than you right now. You know? Enemy See. Okay. Now I'd be a little bit more afraid. Well, yeah. It's the timings. The timings is your biggest problem right now. Oh my god. What the mother of f was that? Listen, it's your timings. When their Ryan dies and their tanks die, you go. You sat there and waited so long that their tanks walked all the way the f back and then killed you. So even though you end up making like these decent plays and these good mechanical plays and just punishing their feeding, it takes too long. If you end up watching my soldier bod and aren't impressed, I'm gifting ten subs. This for you. No one can hide. Okay. See, that this is that's textbook what I just mean right there. Just the timings and the reputations and the movement and the positioning. Like that's it. Like your your startups are good. Your mechanical skill is good. All that sh but but oh, the only thing there is it, it's just it, that's literally and that's not your fault. You watch J3. So I get it. I get it, dude. It ain't your fault. The mid fight. They died to, to die, push in. To die, push in. You push in when they're 6v6 with no fear at all, but when you have the advantage, you don't press it. That's a bad problem. So, anyways, your mechanical skill, like your mouse and aim for only playing the game six months is actually very good. So, I'll say this. I'll say this. I think you could be actually way better than where you are. I, this is actually one of the few, like, good i'd actually say like good you know like you have you actually have like base you have building blocks to build on which is good very good um it's all so here's the thing though if i tell you to build a house right and i give you a bunch of and you show up and you have a bunch of bricks right you have a bunch of bricks that's great that's a good start but until you start putting the bricks on top of each other it's just a pile of bricks that's where you are right now. Start to put those building blocks together. And listen, you might have to dig through some weeks of VODs, but just find a VOD where J3 actually plays well for a day and then study what he does in the mid fights past the three seconds he's alive and you'll pop.